So I have a fun video for you this week. How do you know how much motorcycle performance you're getting for your dollar spent? You know, there are tons of motorcycles with tons of different options and a wide range of prices. So comparing one motorcycle to the next can be really difficult. While this list is not a perfect way to compare motorcycles by any means, but it ended up being a fun way to compare them. I know I had a good time putting the list together. So here's what I did for this video. I took 30 different motorcycles from the 22 model year from a wide variety of manufacturers and I calculated the price per unit of horsepower. So the equation is pretty simple. It's just the base MSRP divided by the advertised horsepower of the motorcycle that gives you the price per unit of horsepower. Simple way to compare how much performance you're getting for your dollar. Now, I'd never seen motorcycles compared this way, and I thought it'd be a fun way to spend a Friday morning hanging out with you. So if you have a really expensive motorcycle that doesn't make a whole lot of horsepower, you'll see it early on in this list. Or if you have a really inexpensive motorcycle that makes a lot of horsepower, it'll be later on in the list, maybe in the top 10. You know, there were several surprises for me in making this list, especially the motorcycle that was the most expensive per unit of horsepower. So number 30 in our list, the first one that you'll see was kind of a shock for me. I probably never would have guessed this one as being the most expensive, but we get later into the list and there are only six motorcycles that cost less than $100 per unit of horsepower. So did your motorcycle make that? Did it make the top 10? We'll find out in a minute. So sit back and watch as we list 30 motorcycles in rank by cost per unit of horsepower.
So were there any surprises in this list for you? There were quite a few for me. Some of the manufacturers that fared well in this list were Yamaha, Suzuki, and Ducati did pretty well also, which was a surprise to me. Some manufacturers that did poorly were Honda, which was a big surprise to me, especially the Grom and the Goldwing. Harley-Davidson didn't do very well, though the new Sportster did really well. And Indian also did pretty poorly in this list also. Manufacturers who build cruisers, which are, tend to be more expensive and lower on horsepower, are at a big disadvantage in this list. So did your motorcycle make the list? If not, I want you to add to the conversation and do a little research and leave the results in the comments below. So list the year, make, and brand of your motorcycle, what the MSRP is, the advertised horsepower, and then divide the MSRP by the horsepower and share that information in the comments. Make sure and leave all the details so we can make sure your calculations are right. So let's see where your motorcycle falls on this list and if there are any motorcycles that beat out the Honda Grom as the most expensive per unit of horsepower, or maybe a new grand champion that beats out the Suzuki GSX S1000 as our champion. Looking forward to seeing where other bikes fall on this list, so make sure and leave all the details below. Till next week, guys, this is Ken with MC Rider, and I'll see you on the road.